hello this is miss ann for tween and teen cooking to go today we are making valentine's day cookie bark and who doesn't love double stuff oreos yum yum and chocolate so let's get ready to to make our cookie bark okay to make the valentine's day cookie bark you will need three oreos one tablespoon of uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips, a tablespoon of red sprinkles, and one third cup of vanilla coat candy coating. But we're just gonna use a block of the candy coating. What I did, I cut one off. You can see it, how it's connected. So we're just going to use a whole one and call it good. You will also need an 8x8 eight eight baking dish, parchment paper, a microwave safe bowl, a microwave, a spoon, and a butter knife. So you want to put one of your Oreos in a sandwich Ziploc bag. We're going to go ahead and seal it. You're gonna to wanna to crush it. The best thing to use is a rolling pin, but if you don't have a rolling pin, you can use a mug or a cup, and we're just gonna kind of crush it here. I wanna say gently, but there's no way, gentle way to crush it, because we're gonna use this for topping with the red sprinkles. Let's look at it and see what it looks like. The frosting is just a little bit, it's gooey on the sides of the bag. We're gonna reseal and do it again. Okay, let's open up the bag and see what it looks like. Actually, we're going to pour it in the one-third cup. I'm making a little bit of mess. You know, I always forget to mention, make sure you wash your hands before you start cooking. I did. And while you're cooking here and there, because you never know if the dog or the cat comes up and you don't think about it and you pet them, you wanna make sure that you don't have hair or anything in your food. So just remember to wash them. And boy, Miss Ann is making a mess. So that's what my crushed Oreo looks like. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Because I got Oreo on them. Okay, the next thing we want to do is line an 8x8 eight eight baking dish with parchment paper. Or it can be something a little bit smaller, whatever you have. And the parchment paper is not staying down because there's nothing in it right now. So we're going to leave it like that. The next step is get your microwave safe bowl and put your your square of um, vanilla candy coating in it. And we're gonna microwave it on high for about 45 sec seconds. Stir the candy coating until smooth. You may need to continue microwaving in 15 second intervals until melted and smooth. So my candy coating is melted. Be careful because this is pretty warm. So we're going to use about a half of it. I'm going to say that's half. I'm going to spread it out. I'm just putting it right in the middle because it's not a big deal because you only have two Oreos. 
We're going to stick the Oreos right in it. A little bit more. Like that. My chocolate is pretty hot. So I'm not going to put this back in the microwave. I'm just going to go ahead and pour the remaining over it. Because you want to coat it. Plus, you're going to melt your chocolate chips. So you'll have more to cover your Oreos. You want to go ahead and spread the chocolate on it. Well, not chocolate. <laughs> the vanilla candy coating. Need a little bit on this side. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Next step is we want to melt our chocolate chips um, just like you did the candy coating. Start with 45 seconds and then stir it and go from there. And if you need to do it a little bit longer, you probably won't. It would be 15 seconds, additional 15 seconds. My chocolate chips is melted. It's pretty thick. So you want to scrape it all together and kind of drizzle it on your Oreos. And you're going to need a butter knife because you're going to create a design. And I just had uh, my chocolate chips in there for 45 seconds. That's all that I needed to do. Okay, let's scrape. So I'm using a plastic knife because I forgot to bring a butter knife with me to the library. And all we have is plastic, so you're going to swirl it. So when you swirl it, you just gently that. You can swirl it too into the chocolate that's on the parchment paper. Add a little bit more white. Ooh, look at that. You can create your own piece of edible artwork. I like that. So next step is we're going to take the crushed up Oreo, ooh, sprinkle it on, red sprinkles, spread them on. Miss Ann just spilled them on the counter. I'm good at making messes. That's part of cooking. That's what it looks like. It looks good. So the next step is that we are going to refrigerate it for 30 minutes to an hour. So it's fully cooled and hardened. So it has set up because you want it to set up. You don't want the, um, the, candy coating in the chocolate to be soft because that's going to be a gooey mess. So we're going to go ahead and refrigerate it. Okay, here is our finished product. It's been chilling in the fridge for an hour. So the next step is that we are going to take it off of the parchment paper and we're going to break it up in the smaller pieces. Just like this. And you can make them in a smaller than that. It looks delicious. Okay, let me try a small piece. 
Mmm. Oh my. You can see how pretty it is. This recipe is a thumbs up. Thank you for watching our watching my video. Bye bye.